Let's move to New Orleans, y'all, where Jameis Winston is trying to start over after a disappointing run in Tampa. The former top pick may not have lived up to expectations, but he's still got plenty of confidence in himself. Maybe a little too much confidence, some say. In a new profile in Bleacher Report, Jameis didn't hold back, explaining, quote, I know what I'm worth, and I know day in and day out, without publicly coming in and saying it, that historically, I'm one of the best quarterbacks to play the game. Woo! To kill. You like this confidence from Jameis? Marcellus, I do not like this confidence. I don't, I don't, I don't like this statement. I love this statement. And this is the reason why. You look at what he was able to do last year. He knew he was not going to be benched at all. And when he was able to put up numbers, the, the eighth most in NFL history when it comes to passing in a oh. single season. And, like, I want to talk about this, and this is something that people really sleep on. He talked about starting earlier this offseason, changing his diet, which he turned into a vegan, also lost 17 pounds, also took it another step, and went and got LASIK surgery. So now, is he the first quarterback oh. to ever do that? To, from an off-season change? Probably not. But my point is that I'm saying is that it takes a certain mindset to be able to adapt that type of theory. You have to have that mindset to be able to make everybody who's looking at you from the outside looking in say, nothing matters to this young man because only the only thing that he wants to do is to play football. And that's what I see, that's what I hear by him being in New Orleans, especially up under Drew Brees, to really be able to see, okay, now I can see why I took chances and why I should not take chances. So I love what he's mm. saying, and I'm sure every teammate on the Saints love his addition. Yeah, I'm with you, BTM, on this one. Listen, I, I, feel, like his, I feel like his resume does enough talking for him. It speaks for him. All right, you're talking about a national champion winner, in, in college, a Heisman Trophy winner in college, a number one overall draft pick in the National Football mm. League, and has thrown for crazy numbers in the league. And some will say, ha, 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 mm. crazy numbers of interceptions. For some strange reason, I guess maybe it's the crab legs or something that has happened with, <laughs> with Jameis Winston eating, eating W's or whatever. I, listen, but we started to act as though Jameis Winston is not someone we should take seriously. It's almost like he's the running punchline of a joke. You say Jameis Winston, and it's like, let's right. start laughing about it. Like, I don't get that. I don't get why it turned into that. So I like Jameis Winston's flex right now. I'm a flex on y'all. How many of these starting quarterbacks in, in the National Football League have the resume that Jameis Winston has? The dude that's starting in front of him is a first ballot Hall of Famer, no doubt, but doesn't have the background Hello. historical uh, resume that, that Jameis Winston does. So, listen, I understand where he's coming from. And sometimes the best thing for somebody to do is to look in the mirror and remind themselves of who they really are. Could be the major difference and deciding point for Jameis going to New Orleans and starting a new chapter in his NFL career life. Mm. Yeah, you, you better flex if you're Jameis Winston. Come on, man. You know why doctors walk around with such confidence? Because every time you say the name, you got to say doctor first. And it's funny in our world, Jameis Winston, <laughs> doctor, this dude is only one of five guys in NFL history to have that resume as you talk about. Heisman Trophy, national title, number one pick overall. Like, whew, sometimes you do have to remind people because they will forget who you are. And don't forget that his numbers, if you squint at them, like just look, take the names away. It's a young Peyton Manning in terms of the numbers. So that's why Jameis is like, let me just flex a little bit. Because I tell all the kids all the time, man, you have to have the biggest pom-poms for yourself and shake them the loudest because this world will flip it on you and make you wait for them to tell you the exact same thing that you already know. That's what a compliment kind of is. A compliment is, I'm going to tell you what you probably already know, but I got to say it first. You don't believe me? Yeah. Flip a compliment on his head like Jameis Winston just did. If you walk up to Jameis and say, oh, man, you know you're only one of five guys, he's like, oh, yeah, appreciate it. Thank you for the compliment. 
But Jameis finally says it first, and people are like, ah, I think he's a little too cocky. What is he thinking? What is he thinking? It's Flex. more of what has he done. The dude has done insane things and now is in a position to learn from a guy whose strength is Jameis's weakness. What to do in terms of reading and reacting to what you see out there. And that's why I'm highly interested in seeing how this one-year red shirt really turns into something special for Jameis Winston going forward. And let's talk about another quarterback, another guy dealing with high expectations, Carson Wentz. The Eagles quarterback has had an up-and-down career so far and at times has faced a ton of criticism over his inconsistency and relationship with teammates. But the big lead just dropped a column arguing Wentz is actually massively underrated, claiming his health issues are overstated and pointing to some very solid numbers despite a depleted receiving core. Shaquille, you think Wentz is underrated? I think Carson Wentz is definitely underrated. I don't think he's massively underrated. And my brother, let me let me educate you right quick on the reason why. My brother. May I? My brother. Okay, look. Yes. When you look yes, at his brother. body of work, his injuries at the certain times, back in 2018, the chronic back pain, the back injury, they're causing to miss a little time. And then you look at this past season, we all thought they were getting ready to take off at the end of the year in the playoff game, had some momentum, but he got knocked out by a clown. And so when you look at this right here, a lot of times people look at it and say, you know what, he can't stay healthy. Well, I'm not going to say that because he's only missed, what, four games in his entire career. And then if you look at his, not the supporting pieces, the essential pieces, this is the reason why he's really getting that title. He has not had a 1,000-yard rusher his entire time mm. while he's there. Now, I will tell you this straight up. If I'm a defensive guy, I already know there is no true threat for anybody to, to chomp us up on the ground. Therefore, I can take my extra time and now implement it in studying the certain tendencies of Carson Wentz. And he still was able to perform. That's the reason why when you look at the body of work and the production, regardless of the, or the lack of the essential pieces, he is an underrated quarterback and a very good quarterback. Man, they got a grown man in that backfield, Takeo, named, <laughs> named Miles Sanders. Bad boy. Pin boy. You know what I yeah. mean? Um, we ain't going to talk about no run game, but let's talk about Carson Wentz and get back to that, right? He's not massively underrated. I'm from, I just told you the Penn Staters in the backfield. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. They say in, on the east side of the state, Winsylvania. That's how much they love this dude, Carson Wentz, in Pennsylvania. They call it Winsylvania on the eastern side, all right? Massively underrated. This is based upon a columnist feeling as though, a writer feeling as though Carson Wentz should have been on this top players list. And he was, he was denied the opportunity to be amongst the elites in the game. I don't feel as though if he's not on that list, it, it makes him massively underrated. He hasn't achieved or accomplished at the level that some of those guys on that list have done. Now, moving on to Carson Wentz, particularly in how we look at him as a player. He has been a consistent player. 13, I believe, 13 interceptions is the most interceptions he's had in a season. And that was his rookie year. Yes. After that, it was only seven the rest of the way. He protects the ball. He's always passed for over 3,000 yards, which is crazy consistent. His results have been what they have been. I think the biggest knock on him, one, we mentioned it, are the injuries. But two, people will not let it go that they won that Super Bowl with Nick Foles in the playoffs. It seems to be a cloud that mm. continues to hang over his head, and Thanks. people don't want to allow it to go. It feels as though he's got to win a Super Bowl in order for people to let it go that Nick Foles did play well in the playoffs, but Nick Foles did not play during the year. It was Carson Wentz that led them to that playoff run. I get it. Nick Foles came in and did what he needed to do as a backup. Great, but underrated i don't think he's underrated i think he's very appreciated and if anything us asking the question of is he underrated actually 
makes me feel like we don't need to overrate him because he hasn't achieved at the level yet where we should give him more <laughs> praise than what he's deserving of. Hey, he's, he's, he's underrated, man. Y'all just got to give it up the way it is. I understand that it, it, it's a moving line in terms of where you're rated because he wasn't one of the top 50 players in the league. That's just one of the things that really adds ammunition to him being underrated. Let's talk about who Carson Wentz is and why he truly is underrated. This is a guy who twice massacred his own momentum because of injury. Having an MVP year, comes out to L.A., bop, gets hurt. He was going to win the MVP that year if he just stayed the course, lost it. And then another time he goes into the playoffs, and in the first quarter, bop, and he's done. Football stars are not born in hospitals. They're born in the playoffs. And he's never had his opportunity to go out there and live up to all the momentum that he builds in excellent play in the regular season. Think about it. Takeo points out the running game issues. How about the fact that his top three targets weren't even wide receivers? A running back and two tight ends. This is a guy who's really been putting it all together a lot on his shoulders and not getting the credit because he can't finish the deal. So when you look at it from that perspective, you start to realize Carson Wentz is kind of special. Actually, first quarterback in NFL history, three straight years, 20-plus touchdowns, and seven or fewer interceptions. Carson Wentz, uh, <laughs> if, if you give him what he needs, and it looks like they may have addressed it this offseason, you might have something special going forward.